Hey guys, it's Jen from My Creek Crafts. So I've been having a couple people ask me how you take designs from design bundles and put them into design space. So I figured I would do a quick tutorial on how to do that since I just purchased a whole bunch of these files from design bundles myself today. If you're not familiar with design bundles, they have a bunch of bundles that you can get for sale. Um, they do, I think it's once every two months, they do a deal where you can get them for a dollar. Um, like this one, I think this one was, let's look really quick originally okay this one was four dollars but it marked down to a dollar um, some of the other ones I wish it would show you on here are actually more expensive I think this one was a little bit more pricey so this one was eight dollars um, but I got it for a dollar so just kind of showing you what you can get there so I bought nine bundles out of the 30 bundles that they had for a dollar today if you don't want to miss this deal check out my channel I always talk about it before it comes and let you guys know to mark it on your calendar so you don't miss it I think it's only for an hour that they have the sale for so normally you get it for a dollar but because um, I have money saved on my account already they give you it for eight ninety cents per one instead of a dollar but then if you want to say save an extra five cents more you can do honey I don't know if you ever heard of honey before I actually just started using it I'm not a sponsor of them I just want to tell you guys if you want to save extra money you can go to honey as well so if you shop at any of these stores you will get a percentage cash back from them this includes design bundles so if you're interested in that I actually do have a link or referral link rather for honey so if you're new to honey if you wouldn't mind using my referral code I would really appreciate it it helps me out I get a couple cents on the dollar per one that you do or that you order so um, anything helps me so if you're interested in that I will leave it down below I'm gonna close that and show you this so here are the ones that I purchased I already have design um, space put up for us so we can show you I started doing these and they are some of them are kind of difficult to be honest with you. There are a whole bunch of files included in these. So, I mean, like this one was a mega Easter bundle. So it takes you a little while to get these down. Um, but if you're new to it, I will just show you really quick how to do them. So I'm actually gonna start with this farmhouse sign one. I'm really interested in this one to see how it's gonna look. So once you're in your uh, design bundles account, you wanna go to the download files right here, and then it's gonna pull up um, the, the names on here. So with design space, you want to do the SVG files. They have all these other files for you to use, but I always use uh, the SVG files. All right, so you want to click on the SVG files. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring it to my download button up here. Every search engine is going to be different, whether you have Chrome, uh, Firefox, Yahoo, uh, you know, whatever you're going to use. I'm actually using Firefox. That's what I really like. You can see it up here, Firefox. So I love Firefox. So this is where my downloads are. Like I said, every computer is going to be different. You just have to find your download folder so I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna bring it right here SVG files I double clicked on that and it's gonna open another file for you so here it is all your files so I'm gonna double click on the SVG files and here are all the files that were in this specific um, purchase that I got so there might be some that you n don't really necessarily want in here so I'm gonna open this up a little bit more okay and you see how it looks now it, you can play around with the buttons up here they're all different I'm actually gonna take this one right here with the rows in it and it actually shows you what it looks like so it gives you a sort of a preview of what it looks like that's up to you if you want to see it or not I know sometimes I download them and I'm like eh, I really don't want that one in design space or I'm not gonna use that one so I don't always add every single uh, image to it so I always like to look to see what it looks like this will show you down at the bottom it's like I said there are different ways of seeing it so you can always just look here and see what it looks like but oh my gosh I love these so I'm going to be making some signs out of these so stay tuned for that oh my gosh my aunt wanted one of these you know what I'm gonna send her one of these I'm gonna make one of these for her I'll do a video tutorial on it, but she wanted me to make her one of these. Now I have the file and it looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to make her one of these. So going back to this, I'm going to show you how to do this. So again, you can go up here and you can click on any one of these. You can see what they look like. They're just different rows. This is what we started with. You can double click on it and see it that way. Um, but I like to see what I'm getting before I put it in in case I don't want to put it in here. So I'm sorry for the split screen here, but I'm trying to show you both ways. So I'm starting in design space. I'm gonna go up here and click new project. Then I'm gonna go to upload down here at the bottom. 
and then go to upload image. I promise once you get this, it's going to be very easy for you to do. You can either go in and browse and find it, or you can click and drag it. So I'm going to take this first one. I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button, and I'm just going to pull it and drop it in here. So here it is. Always kiss me goodnight. It says it up here, so you can um, just leave it the way it is, or you can change it to whatever you want it to say. Um, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I'm going to go click upload and then it's going to put it in design space for me. Just the same thing you're going to want to do again. Click on upload image and then just go to the next one. Click it, drag it over, let go and here it is again. It has the name up here for you if you want to leave a tag in it like, you know, farmhouse or uh, love signs or you know whatever you can put a tag in it and then when you go to upload something you can write in there whatever you think you wrote it as so again upload I'll just do a few more to show you guys you know go to upload image go back over here and then just drag it over it's as simple as this it's really easy to do if you have any questions please let me know I know every computer is different so yours might look different than mine you basically you just want to find the download for it and then put it into design space um, so it's as easy as that you can leave a tag if you want you could just leave it the way it is um, I'm just gonna do this one I'll do one more and I'll show you what it looks like again upload just go to the next one if you accidentally grab the same one and you're like oh I just did that one that's okay just push the back button so I'm gonna push upload and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like I'm gonna grab these two add to canvas I'm gonna stretch this out so we can see it a little bit better it's gonna take a minute because it's a little bit long, uh, larger file but there you go these are absolutely beautiful you can put them on a wood sign you can put it on a shirt you can put it on a canvas um, you know anything that you want so I hope this tutorial helps you out if you do have any questions leave them down below I'm still learning so you might even teach me something so if you have any questions just leave them down below if you have anything that anybody can use from this uh, that you know that I haven't described please leave that down below as well if you're not a subscriber I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so it tells you when my new videos come out happy crafting everyone